Hi, this is Chris from Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how I'm going to patch these holes in my pants. What you will need for this project is your pants that need patching. You can see there's two holes in those. Heat and bond light and some fabric that's similar colors to the items that you're trying to patch. The fabric colors don't have to be exact because we are going to put it on the inside of the pants for this case and so it might show through just a little bit but and it's there just in case it does show through a little bit at the end. There are different ways you can use to patch your pants that have holes in them. We have another video tutorial on how to patch jeans or pants that have holes like in the in the pant leg section or in more of an open section on the pants. So if you're looking for that kind of tutorial, click the link in the description of this video and it will take you to the page on how to patch the pants. And on that page, we'll have a link to our other tutorial. In considering on how to patch this hole in these, these pants, they're both in the same area, right next to the pockets. And it seems like that must be a weak spot on these pants. I had a technical issue while recording this video with my microphone and I lost all of the audio in the remainder of this video. So I've recorded the rest of this video with, as voiceover and so you won't hear any of the background noise or the sewing machine in the remainder of this video. I'm sorry for this technical difficulty. If you're having trouble with this video, please Click the link in the description of this video in order to head on over to our website and we have a full photo tutorial of this project, but hopefully the voiceover will help narrate the rest of this video. Thanks for understanding. Before we patch the holes, we will trim off these little strings that are around the hole. Next, cut a piece of fabric that's big enough to cover your holes and then cut a piece of heat and bond the same size as the fabric. Place the fabric with the wrong side up and then put the heat and bond on top with the paper side facing up. Use your iron to adhere the heat and bond to the piece of fabric. Next, cut a piece of the fabric that is quite a bit larger than the hole is in your pants. Turn the pants to the inside and flatten it out as best you can. Take your patch and score the paper with a pin so that you can remove the paper from the patch. Smooth out the area to be patched and then place the patch over the hole. Make sure that you are placing the shiny side facing down towards the inside of the pants. Using your iron, iron the patch until it's well adhered. Test it and if it's still not adhered well, then keep ironing until it is attached fully. I'm at my sewing machine and I'm going to use the darning stitch to stitch over the hole in the pants. I have my machine set on the number 17 stitch, which is the darning stitch, and I have a regular presser foot on my machine. The darning stitch will stitch forwards and backwards, up and back, all the way across the, the presser foot width. And this makes a good stitch to cover up the raw edges of the hole in the pants. Align the right side opening of the presser foot where you want to start stitching. Start stitching across the area to be patched. When you get to the end of where you want to stitch, press the back button and the machine will start to go backwards. 
it will continue to go backwards and forwards across, moving the needle over one step each time as it goes backwards and forwards and stitches back, stitches the darning stitch. As you can see, the machine has stitched back and forth across the area. I need to stitch some more along the side there to finish going over top of the ripped area. To finish covering up the ripped area, I am going to start another darning stitch and run just along the side of the pocket so that it will cover up the rest of the ripped area. The stitch starts along the side of the pocket. I have to move the pocket out of the way and I stitch down past the bottom of the rip, press the back button to tell the machine to go back and it will start going back and forth across the presser foot, moving the needle to the right each time it goes back and forth. Here you can see the finished patching for this part of the pants and it's nicely stitched down so you can't see the hole anymore. Here's another patch that I did on the other side of that pocket and I did some smaller patching on this other pocket just to reinforce it because those look like they were going to rip on these pants. Here's what the inside of the pants look like with the patches. I used a darker color thread on the inside since it doesn't show. The next step is to trim the patch close to the stitching. Just be sure when you're trimming you don't cut into your pants and make another hole. And the edges of the patch won't fray because of the heat and bond being on there. It will keep it from fraying. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I patch these holes in my pants in order to give them extra long life. Please subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website needlepointers.com for lots of other mending and sewing tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you won't miss future videos. Happy sewing!